Good morning. I'm Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60. And I'm here today with no makeup on my face to talk about skincare. I was tagged to do this video by a dear friend of mine. Her name is Kathy from the channel Kathy's Beauty Care Chats. And if you're not subscribed to her, you are missing out on joy. She is just a bright spot in my day and I enjoy her videos. She did this tag and it was originated by Penn Smith from Penn Smith Skincare. And I watch Penn. I think she is so generous with her knowledge. She is an advanced esthetician and I just really enjoy her. So I'm going to link both of their channels below and I'm going to go ahead and get started. First of all, I am 66 years old and that is important because what I do for my skin is different than somebody that is younger. My skin is still normal. It is not oily and it's not dry, but I can see it becoming a little bit more dry. But hopefully that'll change when it warms up just a little bit. I am in my pajamas and it is the wee hours of the morning. The sun isn't even up today. But there are quite a few questions that I'm supposed to answer in this tag and I'm going to do them to the best of my ability. I didn't bring any products in and I'm not going to put any links below for the products but I will put my most recent skincare update if you're really interested in checking anything out in the show more section and I'll put them in the cards above somewhere, however that works. The number one question was my favorite inexpensive skincare brand and that would be Timeless. I like how the products work on my skin, the items that I use from Timeless. I know that they are fresh. I like that one bottle may have several different ingredients in it instead of having to get you know niacinamide in one and you know you know how that is but I really enjoy their products they're cruelty free they don't add fragrance I'm happy with all the ingredients I really don't look for the claims in a product I evaluate what it does for my skin and how I evaluate I look in a 15 times magnified lighted mirror and I have to get really close to it and I can see whether my skin likes something or not and then I also go by the way it feels and the way it looks. Those, that's kind of my criteria. Usually several times a year Timeless will have a 50% off a $75 order so if you spend $75 you can get it for $37.50. Sometimes I don't need that many items so either I use I have a 25% off discount link in, in, under my videos and sometimes I use that and sometimes I order from Amazon, whichever is less expensive. Any of the Timeless products I've ordered from Amazon have been excellent. So it's just whatever is your preference and whatever my preference is. The second qu question is my favorite high-end brand. <laughs> well, my favorite is Kathy and Penn's least favorite and it's It Cosmetics, but I don't like everything. I looked at all their skincare items today online before I started talking about it and there are six products that I tried from the IT skincare line that I did not like it at all. But the five products I use I really like. It works so well with my skin. What I count on from IT Cosmetics, number one, it's not going to break me out with Milia. That is what I am prone to get and my skin likes it and it's really actually my skin the skin on my face feels so much better when I use the products that I use what is my least favorite brand well it would have to be philosophy miracle skincare line the first skincare I used consistently was when I was 57 and for over three and a half years I used that line and it was rather expensive and it truly didn't do anything for my skin once I started what I'm doing now, and I'll put a link above and below on my first two years of what I call anti-aging skincare. My skin looked better in four months after using that than it did three and a half years after using the Philosophy Miracle skincare line. And this may work so well for you, but it just didn't do anything for me. Is fragrance okay in skincare or not? You know what? I'm okay with fragrance. I don't seek it out. I've probably been using fragrance in all my cosmetics products for 50 years. 
I'm afraid that if I would go fragrance free, if I ever I came in contact with fragrance, I might have a reaction. But it doesn't bother me. I don't want anything highly scented, but I'm okay with some scent. Is alcohol okay or not? If it's high up in the ingredient list, uh, I'm not interested. There's good alcohols, there's bad alcohols, there's some that are used and they're low in the ingredient list and that doesn't really bother me. If I liked something and it had alcohol in it, I would see how my skin reacted, but I wouldn't use it consistently. Chemical or manual exfoliation or both? Well, what I like for exfoliation is I like the ordinary AHA 30 and BHA 2% peel, and I use that about twice a month. I like any of the fruit enzymatic peels that are very, very gentle. I, I order mine from Amazon and they're, they're no more than like $12. And the ordinary, of course, is very inexpensive. And I like shaving my face. I don't like anything that has granules in it because of my age, my skin, you know, I don't need to be scratching the surface of my skin. Do I have an extensive or simple skincare routine? Well, I'll tell you what, my nighttime routine, it could not be any easier. My morning routine actually takes about less than five minutes, but I use several products in that. So I would just say I am average. I don't enjoy doing skincare. I mean, it's better than it used to be, but I want to use as few products as I possibly can and get the maximum, re the maximum results for me. My favorite skincare ingredient would have to be vitamin A and in the form of Retin-A or Tretinoin. Tretinoin is the generic name for Retin-A. I also think vitamin C plus E plus frulic acid is important, but Vitamin A, I would have to go with the tretinoin. And the next one is tretinoin or over-the-counter retinol. For me, it's tretinoin, which is Retin-A. And if I ever had any type of reaction, I would quit it in a minute, but I haven't. One of the common side effects is dry eye syndrome, and, and I, I, I wouldn't risk my eyes for anything. What is the most effective skincare brand for me? Well, it would be Timeless or Skin Diva. The Timeless Vitamin C plus E plus Ferulic Acid and the Skin Diva, they have the exact ingredients in the, in the same order. And Skin Diva makes the Argerlein that I like that take, helps with my wrinkles. That's when I use one drop a day. And I like all the ingredients in it. So those to me would be my most effective. The least effective skincare brand for me, it's philosophy. And if you love it, that's, you know, that's all that matters is what you love. And like, I love the Purity Made Simple. And that's how I cleanse my face. But the rest of the stuff didn't do well for me. Favorite skincare gadget would be my Shiseido razor. And I love to shave my face. And I love the way this is made. And it's not like a straight razor. It has a little bit of perforation in it. And I order these from Amazon and I just, I love shaving my face. Botox or fillers, are they okay or not? Of course they are okay. Some of my best friends get Botox and fillers. And well, probably if everything was available when I was in my mid forties, I probably would have done it. But I figure I've gotten this far and it's just kind of like been a challenge to me to uh, take good care of my skin myself. So I'm fine with it, but I just, don't think I'll ever have it. Favorite in-office treatment. The only in-office treatment I ever had was probably 10 years ago, and I had a group of uh, broken capillaries right here, and I never really noticed them. And one time my brother-in-law, he walked in the back door, and I was probably 12 feet from him, and he said, oh my gosh, did you bruise your face? And I looked and they were just very, very obvious. So I had one laser treatment on just that area, but that's the only in-office procedure I've ever had. What is my favorite at-home treatment? It would have to be derma rolling. I do it once a week. Um, I'll, all I do is I use a derma roller. I use Matrixel 3000. And a few hours later, I use Kakai oil. And what is the one treatment I can't live it without? Well, actually, there's nothing I can't live without, but I would hate to give up my Retin-A. And that's, a, that's it. 
So if you're still here, this is going to be a giveaway, and uh, I'm excited about it. Every In fact, I'm going to have two giveaways. Mm -hmm. The first giveaway are products that I purchased, and then the second giveaway is something that was sent to me. And I'm going to go ahead and start with the first, and then I'll let you know what you need to say to enter. In the first giveaway, this is from ColourPop. It's called Proof is in the Pudding. I don't think it's available anymore. I'll show you the shades in here. It's never been swatched, and here are the shades. I have been super impressed with ColourPop this year, and I have no affiliation with them. I also have a set of three lip flushing hydrating treatments from IT Cosmetics that I purchased. My favorite spatulas to get the rest of your makeup out. I, I really, I, I love these. I have, I have four different spatulas and I use all of them. This came with something that I ordered and it's a jumbo size of the IT Bye uh, Bye Makeup. It's a cleansing balm. A lot of my viewers love this. It was too emollient for me. I've never opened this, but I have tried it in the past. So that is giveaway number one. And this is giveaway number two. And this has never been opened. And these are BK Beauty brushes from that Lisa J made. And I'll show you the brushes. She sent me a set. She sent me two sets. And I used one and I'm giving one away. And prior to her sending this to me, I bought a set of her brushes. And then I brought, bought two more. But here are her brushes and they are lovely. This is the Precision Brush Set. There's a flat brush, a powder brush, a shading brush, a pencil brush, and I gotta bring this close to my face so you can see. It is a an angle brush. It's the tiniest angle brush I've ever seen. And I've, I've demonstrated how you can make really great little wings with that. So this is my giveaway number two. And the brushes were provided to me by BK Beauty. And a portion of her proceeds go to the kindness campaign and she's just it all and I will link her channel below too. So you know this is going to be an international giveaway and the reason I'm doing this, well because because I like to give away, but I know how to do the USPS.com and they came to my, they come to my home, I don't have to go to the post office and uh, I can mail these to you. And because this is a giveaway I cannot reply to the comments below, but you can go to any video prior to this and ask me a question and I will get back to you. And in order to be in the giveaway, you need to be 18 years old or older, subscribe to my channel before this video goes live, and I always close my giveaways in three days. So if you want the number one, which was the eyeshadow, the spatulas, the cleansing balm, and the lip awakening treatment, I want you to tell me your favorite skincare brand in the comment section. And if you're interested in the brushes, I want you to tell me your favorite brand of makeup. And if you're interested in both, just put your favorite skincare and your favorite makeup and put the one that you want most first. Because when I pull them up from Random Comment Picker, the first one that comes up gets the first thing they mention. I really appreciate you watching me. It has not been easy to sit down and film. It really hasn't been for me. Thank you for watching me, you know, giving me the thumbs up. I know this too shall pass, and I sure hope everyone is doing as well as they can in coping, and uh, we will get through this. And you know what? It is all good. It really is. And you, I will see you in my next video, and you take care. And it's a... Because I've had really good products with... Because I've had... But I just think, you know, I've been using Frank, Frank, I've been using, and I've just never had any desire to. Oh, maybe I did when I was, day on, so um, thank you for putting up with my, I know there are,